Keller képviselő asszony, másfél perce van parancsoljon. Colleagues, just yesterday, Leila Zana was here, and the Parliament has been mentioned, and everybody who wanted had the chance to listen to her and her report about the situation in Turkey. And she was talking about how the press freedom is violated, how Kurds are being under attack, whole Kurdish villages are being under attack. But unfortunately, from the Commission, from the Council, also from the Member States, we hear very little, surprisingly little, critique uh, against Turkey. Instead, when Erdogan comes to Brussels, then he's being welcomed with full honours, and that has a reason. The Commission and also Council, it seems, want to make a dirty deal. They want to make sure that Erdogan stops refugees who are fleeing from war, from Syria, on their way to Europe so that they stay in Turkey. And for the other side of the deal, President Erdogan gets a complete silence from the European area, arena. I think this is a wrong deal. This is not a deal that's worthy of EU values, of human rights, of what we're fighting for. It's not worthy both for what it means for refugees as well as what it entails for human rights in Turkey. And declaring Turkey to a safe country of origin is even more of cynicism. How can people be safe when journalists are putting, being put into prison? How can minorities be safe in Turkey? They are simply not. So yes to a cooperation with Turkey, and yes also to support Turkey, because indeed they're receiving a lot of refugees, and also yes to credible accession negotiations, but no to this dirty deals on the back of refugees. Köszönöm, következő hozzászólónk Darthmosz képviselő úr. Képviselő úr, egy perc áll rendelkezésére parancsoljon. Turkey is a candidate country, as others have said, and in consequence, Turkey has received an incredible 3.8 billion euros in pre-accession funding in the last five years, and it's scheduled to receive another